Here's another video right toward the end of the game with Duke and North Carolina in the ACC tournament. Now, you know, I've heard of incidental contact, but I'm wondering if, if somebody has told the officials not to call, quote, unquote, incidental traveling. As you can see, Jan Zion Williamson gets the ball. We're talking seconds to go in this ball game. He gets the ball, he ends the dribble with his left foot on the floor. The dribble ends when two hands touch the ball by rule. So we know the dribble has ended. And he's spinning on his left foot. He's going to step with the right foot. He's going to lift the left foot, which is legal. But if that left foot comes back to the floor while he is still holding the ball, it's a beautiful training video to train officials on what a traveling violation looks like. Now I'm wondering if he had done this same number of steps going in a straight line, would this have would they have allowed that? This illegal activity here was ruled as legal. And so he's gonna go up for a shot, he misses the shot, and he puts it back in for two points. And again, this is with seconds to go in the game. So I'll go back now and let you see it in real speed, which if you have the trained eye that we should have, you'll know which foot is the pivot foot. So he puts it in for two points, and again, they're just, you know, less than 10 seconds probably, or 15 seconds. I can't see because of this bar across the bottom in uh, ESPN News. Wow.